The SOW, Statement of Work or Scope of Work, is one of the best and worst weapons in a project manager's arsenal of tools. It's the best because a Statement of Work, SOW, is so often the one piece of documentation that saves you from a world of trouble. Today we'll check out what is a Statement of Work. But before starting the video, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon so you will get notified when we upload the next video. 8. What is a statement of work? And why do we keep switching between these different terms, statement of work, scope of work and SOW? In project management, SOW is an acronym for statement of work. Alternatively, SOW, sometimes written in capital letters or lowercase, can also be used as an acronym for scope of work. Put simply, an SOW or Statement of Work is an agreement between a client and an agency, contractor or service provider that defines what's included within a project and what's not. SOW should be written in precise language that is relevant to the field of business. This prevents misinterpretations of terms and requirements. Although detailed, a SOW is a general description of work. Whenever further specifications of a particular task are needed, the SOW makes reference to supplementary documentation. A well-written SOW will define the scope and key performance indicators KPIs, for the agreement. These KPIs can then be used as a baseline to determine whether the service provider has met conditions of the SOW. SOW formats can vary from one industry to another, but the same key guidelines should be followed in any case for the SOW to be effective. 7. Why is a statement of work important? SOWs provide the extra layer of detail that cost estimates and project plans usually don't include to describe exactly what's being done and delivered, and what's not. It's where you put the meat on the bones of the project, and as you do, you get an opportunity to flesh out the details of what you're going to deliver in your project. It is a lot of work, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, as it will help you find your approach. In creating a statement of work, you'll probably end up adjusting your estimate and your timeline as you remember things that you should have added but forgot to. This level of detail provides reassurance to the client as to what will be delivered and ensures that there really is a shared understanding on what the project will deliver and achieve. This is about as close as you'll get as a project manager to being a lawyer. For both the agency and the client, the statement of work becomes a bible in determining what's in scope and what's out of scope. That matters because ultimately the statement of work serves as a reference point for determining what's included within the project cost and what's not. If you're able to get your statement of work right, it will save you a world of pain later in a project. 6. Scope of Work Template There are countless scope of work templates that you'll find online for projects, but many of them are confusing and more than we'll ever need for digital projects. They can actually be pretty confusing as you find yourself trying to fill in the blanks of an enormous project scope document that you simply don't need. You need to strike a balance of being just detailed enough developing a scope of work that's quick to produce, robust yet flexible, without creating something that's so behemoth that it takes you two weeks to produce. So if you need a statement of work template, or you're looking for a scope of work template, we've got just the thing. This detailed statement of work SOW template provides you with an instantly downloadable, fully detailed statement of work ready to use. 5. Statement of Work Template Overview it comes with two distinct parts. The first section outlines overarching project information. The second part defines the detail of each phase and can be extended throughout the course of a project as each phase ends. It is written so that you can easily write a statement of work for your digital project. It helps answer the questions, what should I include in my statement of work, how much detail do I need, and where do I put all the project information. 4. Statement of Work Template Detail Instead of wasting time cobbling together something yourself, we've done the hard work for you with a fully detailed statement of work template that's around 12 times pages long, 1,000 words. Save yourself hours of work and instantly download the template, supplied as a doc, for you to adapt as you need. The template is unbranded and uses generic MS Word styling to make it easy for you to brand with your own logo and edit content. The statement of work template provides the following contents, project information, project summary, project process, project budget, project milestones, project governance, terms and conditions, phase details, deliverable descriptions. 3. Do you really need to use a statement of work? Please do. It will save you a world of pain later. Ultimately, a statement of work is about managing and documenting expectations. And, as with any agreement, it's always best if those making the agreement know exactly what they're agreeing to. I get it. It's tempting to not bother with a statement of work. After all, who likes paperwork? Particularly if you subscribe to an agile approach to documentation, as little as possible and only where really necessary. 
doesn't that mean that the days of producing a statement of work are over? Nice try, but no. As a project manager, it is your best interest to have something that enables you to say, but this is what we agreed when you're having a debate with a client over and whether your estimate for a banner ad campaign was also going to include a campaign landing page. The failure to write, or probably write, a statement of work is all too often the reason clients and agencies end up in conflict. When there's uncertainty or ambiguity, it creates tension because it creates a potential for there to be a gap in understanding over what's been agreed. The idea of a statement of work is not to catch a client out, but to state exactly what's being done, how, when, and the cost. Two, are statements of work for internal projects important? Don't discount the value of a statement of work for internal projects as well. While you won't need client sign-off, it's worth having one for yourself and your team. It'll set up expectations for your team and outline the tasks and deliverables they'll need to complete. This doesn't need to be a formal statement of work, like the one you might create for a client, but having some type of SOW in place is beneficial for the whole team. 1. Writing your statement of work In this basic sample of an SOW, you can see that it's best to begin by summarising the scope of work for the project before outlining the panel of team members with responsibility for the project's outcome. Then you'll list important actions and associated deadlines and accountability for each of these actions. The statement of work should also include the timeline for the project, the budget and payments anticipated, and the standards expected for each item budgeted. The statement of work will also likely include internal and external standards for this type of work and the criteria by which the deliverables will be accepted. A statement of work is an extensive document and critical to keeping your project on track, on budget and delivered on time. Writing up this document doesn't have to be difficult, but it can be time-consuming. After all, you're going to be writing up a single document that contains all of the information about your project. It's going to be long, in-depth and quite extensive. Not to mention you're going to need to do quite a bit of research and work with several different people in order to get it right. And hopefully, you can get it right the first time around to speed up the process. Make sure that when you do start writing it, you are as specific as possible. You want to lay out all of the information that you have and get answers to any information that you don't right away. That's going to make your paperwork a whole lot more complete and efficient for everyone involved. Not to mention, it's going to make sure that no one is confused down the road and no one can come back and say that something was or wasn't in the project brief. It's all going to be right there. You don't have to write out this document in a series of essays or paragraphs, however. You can actually write it out with a lot of information in tables, graphs, charts, images and more. In fact, it's a good idea for you to do so because those are going to break up the information and make it easier to read. They're also going to make it a whole lot easier for you to refer back to some of the information. If you can find the chart, you need it's easier to jump right into what needs to be done. Finally, make sure that you always get your statement of work approved. If you write up everything the way you think it is supposed to be done or the way you think the client wants but you never get it signed off, you're never going to know if you're correct. At least not until you start turning in deliverables or a final project and the client isn't happy. That's definitely not going to help you or your client in the long run. So make sure that you show them your statement of work when it's complete and work together to make sure that it's exactly what they were expecting or what they need. Please do share with us in the comments below if you know how to write a statement of work. Thanks for watching.